In this lecture, you will learn how to set up PHP development environment on a Mac computer. By default, you have PHP installation on every Mac computer. So if I were to come to the terminal and type php-v, uh, it's going to tell me the version of PHP that is installed on this Mac at this moment. And then also we have Apache installed by default. So if I type httpd-v, enter, it tells me the version of Apache that I'm running. As I mentioned in the previous lecture, there's a much easier way for us to get all the components that we need. So there are different methods for achieving this on the Mac. You can install using Homebrew to install the various components one after the other. So for example, I'm going to be using PHP 7. So I can actually pull that in using Homebrew. For the purpose of this lecture, I'm going to show you how we're going to use a similar software like XAMPP to set up development environment on a Mac. And for this purpose, we'll be using MAP. All right, so I'll go over to my browser and then I'm just going to search for MAP. So you can see that we have for Mac OSS and then we have also for Windows, All right? So I'm interested in downloading for Mac. All right, so I'm going to hit on the download button and then going to allow the software to download. This will actually take a few seconds to download depending on your internet connection. I'm just going to pause the video and let it finish downloading. Once you're finished, what you need to do is actually open the file. This is the initial installation interface. So here I'm going to click on continue. Continue. You can take out your time to read the licensing agreement. I'm just going to click on continue. And here I'll check I agree. So I'm going to click on continue. Here we can actually change the installation location, but I'm just going to install the software in the default location. All right, so right here you need to key in your the password for your Mac computer, then click on install software. Software installation was successful. So we can now click on close. All right, so to start the software, click on the launch pad. And then here you can see Map and Map Pro. Map Pro is the paid version that actually comes with a 14 days trial. But for the purpose of this lecture, we're just going to be using Map. So I'm going to click on Map. This is the control panel for Map. So what we're going to do now is click on Start Servers. And the servers that will be started include Apache and then MySQL. So click on Start Server. All right, so once the server starts, brings us to the default home page of Map Server. And here we can get some basic information about the software. You can see that it is running on localhost on port 8889. Username is root and password is root. This is the MySQL. And right here at the top, we can get information about PHP. So click on PHP info. You can see from this page that we are running PHP version 7.1.0 and also lots of information uh, below here. All right, so similarly, we can click on tools and here you can see PHP Miami and also PHP Lite Admin. All right, so we're interested in PHP My Admin. Click on this. And then it brings us to the default home page for PHP My Admin. I'm going to quickly show you how to do some configurations. So the first thing that we're going to do is actually change the port. If you see here that map is actually running on 8888 for uh, PHP My Admin. So what we're going to do is actually go back to the control panel and then change the port. I'll click on preferences. You can see here start stop ports. PHP, web server, MySQL. So I'm going to select ports and right here you can see the different configurations. All right, so I'm going to choose this option that says set web and MySQL ports to 80 and 3306. These are actually the defaults for web applications. HTTP runs on port 80 by default, while MySQL runs on port 3306 by default. 
I'll click on this option and then click on OK. So it's going to ask me to key in my credentials. Okay, so right now, the server is running on port 80 and my SQL is running on port 3306. So if I click on start web page, you can actually see here that by default, it is running on port 80 because there is no port prefix attached to it right here, all right? So a couple of things that I want to show you here also, click on preferences, PHP. You can see we have two versions of PHP here, 7.0.13, 7.1.0. This is actually the latest version of PHP as at the time of this recording. So if you actually want to switch between versions, you can actually just check the appropriate version here. And also we have the web server tab. Here we have Apache and Nginx. So you can actually switch between Apache or Nginx as your web server, depending on your preference, right? And lastly, we have the MySQL tab here. This only shows us the version of MySQL that we are currently running. So coming back to the web server tabs, you can actually see the default directory where our files are located. So htdocs is the, is the root of map server. This is where all our sites are going to be located. It's actually the same thing with XAMPP on Windows. So when I create a project in XAMPP, I will be putting the files inside htdocs. So for you running Mac OS, you need to actually create the file inside htdoc on the map folder. So to see where this folder is actually located, all we need to do is actually click on the finder and then look for applications and then scroll down, you see map. So there's map and there's map pro. So we're actually interested in map. On the maps, you see htdocs, all right? So this is actually the directory where we are going to be uh, putting our projects when we finally start working with PHP. All right, that will be all for this lesson. I'll see you in the next lecture.